and mahalo for joining us. This is Kupuna Power. I'm Brickwood Galateria and I'll be your host along with some other special friends as we weave moments of Kupuna Power for your enjoyment. So what is Kupuna Power? Kupuna Power is a weekly opportunity to watch as experts and regular folks share stories, learn lessons, entertain, exercise, and even tell us how to eat right. Kupuna Power is a helpful reminder about identity theft, fraud, Medicare, Medicaid, long-term care, and other items for the entire family to think and talk about. Kupuna Power is about seniors of all ethnicities, all backgrounds, all faiths, and all persuasions. Kupuna Power is about empowerment, education, respect, and talking story. It's about taking control of your life during the golden years and sharing your golden years with everyone in your life. We look to Kupuna today and yesterday to help us find and fulfill our pathways through life. We consult with Kupuna as a powerful source of wisdom. Some define Kupuna as to stand at the source. Ku to stand. Puna from the Punavai, the source or spring water. From a more practical Kupuna perspective, Kupuna power is self-determination, that you have the authority over how your life will be lived, where and with whom. To accomplish most of those goals, Kupuna must know the resources needed for their support. Resources that help you assume responsibilities for your decisions and actions. You and the Ohana can become Kupuna advocates, empowering yourself with knowledge of what resources are available to you for the state, the city, and even the federal government. We welcome several partners, both with time-sensitive messages. Firstly, Census 2020, thank you. The Census provides critical data that lawmakers, business owners, teachers, and many others use to provide daily services, products, and support us and our communities every year, sending billions of dollars in federal funding to hospitals, fire departments, schools, roads, and other resources. It's important and important for you to complete. What a great opportunity to bring the Ohana together to fill out the census form and help shape our future. Census 2020. Our second partner is Hawaii's Office of Elections. Hawaii will be voting by mail this election. When you take advantage of postal voting, you get to fill out your ballot at a time that works for you. You can open the ballot at home, complete it on your own time, gather the Ohana and talk it through before deciding, then return it by mail before the election deadline. It's a convenient option to use. Welcome Census 2020 and vote by mail to Kupuna Power. It's a kako thing. In addition, we just launched our website. Go to wearekupuna.com for more. wearekupuna.com and our Kupuna Power Facebook page. It's current and accessible to past shows. So we've set the table and let's prepare to partake. When we come back, our first guest could be referred to as a Hawaiian Renaissance man. This man is multifaceted and multi-talented with an insatiable drive to serve his culture through sharing his knowledge. Kumu and Kahuna, Kavai Kapuokalani Frank Loea Lehua Hewitt joins us next. I'm Brickwood Galuteria. We'll be right back.
Kapuna Power is brought to you by the U.S. Census 2020, the Office of Elections, and Stanford Car Development LLC. Welcome back to Kupuna Power. I'm Brickwood Galuteria. We have a beautiful place that Kupuna Power is calling home unless we're out on location. We're here at the Na Kupuna Makamai Senior Center in Kakako, a project of Pacific Gateway Center. Na Kupuna Makamai Senior Center provides innovative quality services and programs dedicated to our seniors, their families, and the community. It will empower, educate, enlighten, and entertain. Perhaps you may want to visit one day. Do it. It's right here in Kaka'ako to serve you. Go to nakupunamakamai.org or call 808-773-7047 for more information. Our first guest named Nakupunamakamai. Kumuhula and Kahuna, Kavai Kapukalani, Frank Loea, Lehua Hewitt could be called a master of three arts. Hula, Ho'opa, and hakumele. All are woven together, all intrinsic to the whole. We're pleased to spend some time with my friend, Frank of Aikapukalani Hewitt. Aloha. Aloha. Mahalo for uh, number one, naming this beautiful place and being with us here today at Kupuna Power. Well, you know, it took me a long time to get here, 66 years. <laughs> That's a long time to get here. Well, isn't that right? I mean, a lot of people have driven past Kupuna Makamai never knew what was in it yes. i'm sure everyone wondered but uh, when i called you to ask you if, to consider naming it what were your thoughts well you know <clears throat> the word kupuna is associated with the word kupu kupu is to grow the things that grow here in hawaii are so beautiful the pua the flowers the trees the la'au so many things grow and we take them and we make lei. And these lei, we refer to them as my ole, never fading, or makabai, which is precious. And that's how I see kupuna. That's how I saw my kupuna. I was raised by my kupuna in Kaneohe. Uh, they raised me with the ole lo Hawaii, the Hawaiian language. They took care of me from the time I was born until the time they passed away. So these are the most precious memories I have of being born and raised here in Hawaii. I noticed that you're calling yourself Tutu Man these days. Yes. Really? Let's talk a little bit about your, your children, your offspring, you know, the, uh, what, the legacies that you're leaving behind. So, you know, um, of course, I have hanaid all of my children and I've raised them by myself with the help of my mother. And uh, I had I started off with one, then two, and the numbers began, began growing yeah. over the years to five, and uh, two of my sons have passed away. But they left me with beautiful grandchildren, mm -hmm. and I treasure that. And now the grandchildren are having babies, so now I'm the great Tutuban. Yeah? Tutuban Kwakahi. I wonder, so, wait, do we, I got to check this out with my colleagues in the legislature. Do we give tax breaks for? Great grandchildren yet? I don't know. We should. Well, we're going to check that one out. <laughs> we definitely should. You know, the one thing about Frank, you and everybody is is the, the the three, you know, legs to a tripod, and they all come together to be Frank. Let's talk about each one. The first one, of course, is the Kumu Hula. Uh, when I went to Japan, you're like the emperor over there. What's going on? <laughs> but that started so long ago, over 35 years ago. At that time. Hula was not seen as the hub. I mean, hula in Japan was not seen as the hub of hula. In a sense that people really didn't see opportunities in Japan. I saw it because of Auntie Genoa Keave. Auntie Genoa Keave, I was one of her hula dancers, took me there, and we did so many shows. And then she said to me, okay, bye, I'm going to leave you here. <laughs> and, and that started my life in Japan. It wasn't like I went on my own because I saw these opportunities. At that time, I did not. Auntie Genoa saw them. And Auntie Genoa sat me down and she said, Hawaii Kapu, when you do this, this is how much you charge. When you do that, that's how much you charge. And then when I come back, I'll check on you. 
And so I went and I, and I stayed and I enjoyed it. Uh, how, many, how many students have you uh, gathered in, in Japan? How many? Well, what I did was something uniquely different. I worked with teachers that had students. Oh, I see. So the teachers became my students. So I worked with individual teachers from individual schools. Yeah? And they have their schools. So as far as having a school, no, I don't have a school. But I have all these teachers that I've taught for the last 35 years. You know, second leg of the tripod is uh, kahuna. Yeah. What, what is a kahuna? Tell our, our viewers. So, you know, it's, it's someone that has expertise in uh, particular traditions. For example, hakumele, writing songs. Mm -hmm. yeah? um, Native traditional medicine, uh, lomi lomi. Mm. There are so many traditions, but that came again from another great teacher, and that was Auntie Emma de Fries. Oh man! Auntie Emma de Fries came and took me from my parents and my grandparents, um, and said, uh, "I need to train this boy." And when my grandmother asked her, "Keiki." Uh, and she told my grandmother, well, you know, she wanted a legacy and she herself didn't have children. And my grandparents and my parents being familiar with the tradition of Ha Nai, yeah, they let me go. It was not an easy transition, but I have to say I'm glad I went and this is how I learned the tradition of the pule, how to do the ka hair. And you know, back then, think about this in 1972, there was nothing about protocol. That came from people like Auntie Emma de Vries. Today we're at 2020 and everybody has a protocol for everything. Yeah. Everything has a protocol. Back then, I think people even wrote books that Hawaiians know more protocol. Well, but you, you're walking around, you're, you're a treasure. You're a Hawaii treasure here. You, I mean, Thank when you. you study with people like Auntie Emma de Vries, mm -hmm. with uh, and Edith Kalakole and yes. so on and so forth. I mean, you're not, you know, you become the vessel. So the, the last and final thing I want to talk to you about very briefly is your Hakumele. And uh, I don't know how many songs you've written, but as a, you know, radio guy, we introduced a lot of those beautiful songs. Tell us how you become one with the Mele.
Kapuna Power is brought to you by the U.S. Census 2020, the Office of Elections, and Stanford Car Development, LLC. What I tell people is this. You know, being brought up in that kind of a home where Hawaiian is spoken on a daily basis, um, you, you, you begin to form this relationship from the language, or with the language, from the mouth of your kupuna. Kupuna have a unique and different way. How they see things, how they observe things, how they understand things, and how they transfer the things. That can only come from ike, Ona kupuna, the wisdom and the knowledge of our kupuna. So as a songwriter, of course, I went to my grandparents first. And of course, the learning process was very, very um, easy in the sense that I already had the ike of their olelo. So to add to that, yeah, experience. What was my experience in 1954? What was my experience in 1955? What is my experience raising my children? What is my experience being a child, being a son, being a grandson? So I take all of these memories, real memories, not, 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 not trying to write about something that's out there that I have no connection to. I need the pilina. That's where I wrote kapilina. Kapilina was about having pilina, a connection to everything. And if you're going to write, write from truth, your experience, put it down, share that. And I tell you, if it's true, people will gravitate and form their own pilina to that song. I'll tell you something. I'm going to stretch this one more minute because, <laughs> and cut this on the backside. My producers are going to go crazy, but I don't care. Uh, you. you wrote uh, so many songs. One of the songs uh, was Kavaili Hua Ala Kahunua. Okay. Uh, what's that about? And then sing them for us. What key? Key of G. Key of G. Okay. It's about the rain and the rain and how the rain falls from the sky, how the rain gives life to everything here, including us, the land, the flowers. But the source of the rain is really the ocean. Water is evaporated up into the sky. It forms the rain clouds and it falls right back down to earth. So the song is about a lei, kalei o keola, the cycle of life and how we need water and we're called Hawaii, land of breath, of water, and the spirit of God. Okay. Ehieji, Ehiehola, Kaua, Halihalina, Lehua, Oluna. Ehie, ehie, Ke ho i ho, e aloha mai. E e e e e e e e e e yeah. Wow. All right. Mahalo and Oilo to my good brother Kawai Kapu Hewitt. I'm Brickwood Galateria. Nothing more to say. We'll be back after these important words.
Kapuna Power is brought to you by the U.S. Census 2020, the Office of Elections, and Stanford Car Development LLC. Aloha, welcome back to Kupuna Power. I'm Rick with Galuteria. Mahalo anoilo to Frank Kavaikapu Kalana Hewitt for sharing his Kupuna Power with us. It's time now to share a special musical effort done on behalf of Census 2020 that assembles an incredible array of Pacific Island artists that make no apologies for standing up to be counted in the 2020 Census. Let's enjoy this incredible musical offering. I'm Brickwood. That does it for today's Kupuna Power. What a musical tour de force from many of Polynesia's premier artists. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm Brick with Galateria, and this has been Kupuna Power. Aloha. Hey,
Et coupa la carua i que cai Que ho i ho e aloha mai E hie, e hie E meleno e kuulani Ka vaile hua ala ka honu Vaile 